So we're um, back here at the House of Hives. I reckon that was kind of cool. The last time we didn't actually get to this kitchen cupboard because it was kind of like a top bar hive in a cupboard. So I thought it might be pretty groovy to show you. It's, but these girls, well, when I was here, the reason we didn't show you last time we were here, they were totally pissed off. And they were, they were basically trying to eat me, which was kind of stupid. So I thought we'd better leave them alone. But So we'll see what happens. So if they get a bit stupid, we might leave them alone again. But if not, we'll show you what a natural top bar hive looks like. There we go. <laughs> the cupboard of bees. <laughs> Crazy shit. Now we'll just give them a little bit of puff of smoke. Chill them down a bit or stir them up. Whichever, I'm not sure. <laughs> Might make them stupid. I don't know whether that was a good idea or not. They were nice and relaxed and now they got a bit silly. Okay, these are these have got some serious anger management problems, these bees. But it's kind of cool. If we don't do anything else, we'll just <laughs> we don't do anything else, I just want to show you inside the cupboard. There's nothing in the drawer. Except for a few dead bees. Anyway, let's see what's in here. I reckon this is where they start at this end. This is where it ends. Look at that. So, we've got a different bucket here. We might collect some of this honey at this end. I wonder where the brood chamber is. That's the next excitement. This is all honey here. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey everywhere. Crazy shit. Where the fuck would you start, lad? <laughs> like, what the hell? We need a bigger box. We need several boxes. Maybe we could take the whole cupboard. Nah. <laughs> That's a stupid idea. So I'm, so I'm thinking we'll start at that end, we'll get a bit of this honey. But I reckon the, um, the real nest is just in here, so... I think, but I don't know. <laughs> we don't really know until we start pulling shit out, do we? No, I don't know. They're not really happy with us. I guess I wouldn't be happy with me either. In the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> oh, golly. Go on, off you go. Leave your honey stores. Go, run, run, rabbits, run. I think it might actually go a bit back that way from the whole angle. Why? Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> it's a crazy idea. There's a lot of, lot of honey in this box. Maybe we'll have to have fridge honey or cupboard honey. Ha! Here's the new, where they've got to the end of their new stuff that they're building. See, they're building all the new new honey here, honeycomb. Apparently the interesting thing, smarter blokes than me have measured this, that when they are just building the honey, like the honeycomb, or the, the wax foundation comby bits, just for honey storage, that's shit, that's what we've done fall in on. <laughs> they actually make them slightly bigger, so they get a bit more honey per centimetre. Whereas the brood area is a smaller bits. So that's kind of cool. I don't know who sat down and measured that shit, but apparently that's what they reckon. This is why you end up washing your clothes when you get home. It's not the best idea, is it? Natural honey harvest. These girls are definitely not as friendly as the fridge bees. I mean, they were really angry when we were here before, but they're a little bit more chilled out than they were because it's a bit more of a relaxed day. But I reckon that's a kind of cool traffic. Look at that, that's like a B freeway. <coughs> that's probably why I gave up smoking, I think. That's horrible shit. You're not really meant to be in the house, I suppose. <laughs> house of horrors. <laughs> what do you call it? The house of hives. And yeah. So they're all sort of going like that. Like on a cool angle. 
Cool, so we thought we'd try something different today. We brought ourselves down, we brought the frames with us. Since we've got this cool idea with rubber bands, we thought we might actually put the brood comb on the frames in the swarm catching box. Well, uh, well, this is not necessarily a swarm. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nest. Anyway, we thought, because otherwise sometimes when you don't actually have the brood nest separated, the bees can't get in there and keep them warm and keep them cozy or keep them fed. So we thought we'd give that a crack. I don't know. Well, you're we'll see what happens anyway. So that's all used up comb. This is obviously old comb that they've moved on from. Moved on to the news bits there. I'm not exactly sure what happens in a natural nest as to what they do. Do they go back and store honey in that later or what? I don't, know. I don't think I've ever pulled a box. I don't think I've ever pulled a cupboard of bees apart before, so I don't really know either. There's still a few drones in here anyway. Oh. I wonder what sort of messed up chemicals were stored under this thing before this. The a fair rate of bees in here anyway. <laughs> oh my god! What's going on with that? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Oh fuck. We haven't got any brood yet, so... There's a little bit of brood there. I'm just going to put that comb in there. You're, thinking, you're wondering why I'm not putting it on the thing, but I'm going to. I thought I'll put it in there and let some of the bees get in the box first before we actually get too excited. neighbourhood meeting after this crap. <laughs> now they get chitty. Help! There's a bit more of the... I feel like we're getting to the nest a bit now, mate. <laughs> I reckon when they have a neighbourhood meeting after this, when we go, they're going to be really upset. <laughs> if you're wondering why we're not using the bee vacuum cleaner down here, it's because we haven't got any power. I'm thinking we probably, if I'd known it was going to be this crazy, maybe we would have gone and bought a generator and, and actually brought it with us. But it probably would have been a good idea. I don't know. I've forgotten how stupid it was without it. <laughs> ridiculously big nest. I guess it doesn't really matter which way you go about it, it's going to be silly. <laughs> you right, get stuck? Oh, I tell you, they're angry. I think this is probably why the vacuum cleaner is a bloody good idea. <laughs> hey. different idea. Since we're ah, getting stung even through my leather gloves, even my cameraman's getting stung so that's fair, at least that's something good. I'm thinking because I'm pulling out this brood comb to put on these things and the girls are going so psycho for it I thought well why not just put them back actually in the nest 
and while we're working on the next bit, they can run onto this stuff and then we'll put them in the, straight in the box without disturbing them. That might work. I don't know with any of this is a good idea. <laughs> it's a fucking stupid idea, really. Ow. I suppose I don't blame it. Shit, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd just steam me to it, I would. Just imagine that. Someone come around to your house. Now we're going to go to this next part here. And there's all these bees that have gone completely off tap. And all the nurse bees have run around in the bottom there as well. And I'm thinking, well, they might as well run back onto those frames. Then we'll put the frames into our catching box. Rather than having a big pile of frames, a whole pile of brood in there. Hopefully, that'll work. But I don't know. Well, I think the vacuum cleaners are definitely a fucking much better option than this insanity. Oh, that shut the door. Maybe they'll be going, look, look, the humans have all fucked off. Oh. <laughs> no, we haven't. But anyway, we bloody well should, because look at them. Tell you what, not friendly. Whose idea was it to be a beekeeper anyway? Oh, I can blame it on you internet people for this. <laughs> anyway, keep on watching us. You never know what sort of stupid shit we're going to get up to. Oh. Yep. Sweater. I've got poison running through me veins. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think the vacuum cleaner was definitely a better option. I think we'll stick that down there. Something like that. And then we'll see if the girls run onto that one. So we're definitely going to end up with some cupboard honey. We didn't get much fridge honey, but. I think we decided to wreck this poor bloody home. Yeah. Far out there. That is crazy shit. I think they're planning on moving them out of this house, so that's the thing. So I thought, well, I guess we'll give it a crack to see if we can't rescue some of them. I think I've found a treasure. Now, it's the bottle. <laughs> well, that's an old sauce bottle. <laughs> Surprising it wasn't a bottle of detergent, isn't it? Look at Oh my lord. How much more of this crap we got in here, boys and gals? Uh, shit. Is that crazy saying that you're always on about? Pain is temporary, film is forever. Well, I don't know about that just right now. Pain might be a bit, a bit more than temporary, just in this, this particular minute. I don't know what you call it a brilliant idea. I've had an idea. I'm just thinking, since we've brought the frames down, and we've got to, I don't know, we've got half the nest destroyed. I have no idea where the bloody queen is. She'd be probably hiding down a hole here somewhere. So I'm just thinking, maybe what we might do is we might put the brood comb and some honey, or we've got plenty of honey comb here anyway that they can clean up, and put the brood comb in this end on the frames, and then we'll come back in a week or two and just pick the whole polis bolus up, and maybe that would, I don't know. What's the worst thing that can happen? We can't mess them up much more than we already have, <laughs> can we? I think we've made a bit. We've made a bit of a mess here, and this isn't really productive. So I reckon we might give that a go. Definitely. Anyway, I think that was a lot bigger cupboard full of crap than I had expected. So I reckon. Summing up, the vacuum cleaner is definitely the way to go because then you can catch the girls before they all end up in the air like this because this is just ridiculous. And a bit, it's all a bit bloody pointless really when they do that. So if nothing else, at least we've discovered that, the, that as much as the vacuum cleaner hasn't been perfect, it's still a good idea.